everyone, my name is Brittany um, and I run the self-confidence and gender equality blog on Tumblr called Confidence. <laughs> or some people might know it, our confidence. And then I'm here doing my first vlog ever that I really wanted to do for a long time. So for this first video, um, I really wanted to tell a little bit about myself and why I really want to teach self-love and um, help people practice it. All right, well, uh, just a couple things about me. Um, I'm a college student. I am studying communications. Um, my dream is to, like I said, help people um, practice self-love and um, learn to love themselves no matter what. And um, I guess that kind of stems from a lot of um, how, a lot of kind of my childhood and um, how I grew up. I um, was very, had very, very low self-esteem when I was younger. Um, pretty much anything that you cannot like about a person is how I treated myself. Um, I was very obsessed with my looks. Uh, I remember just kind of standing in the mirror for hours and just pointing out things that I hated about myself. And um, you know, it was definitely um, very destructive behavior. I know I used to uh, kind of wear a lot of makeup when I was younger. Um, to try to just cover up what I thought was not right about me and I was very shy um, of course like most people in middle school I was picked on for just kind of being myself people would make fun of me for being really tall and skinny um, you know I always hear the word lanky or whatever uh, stuff like that just you know kids are cruel kind of stuff um, when I was about in this sixth or seventh grade, um, I started breaking out on my face. My skin around my nose area started getting a lot lighter than the rest of my skin, um, almost turning like white. And I would, I would get picked on for that. And a lot of, that's a, a lot of why I wear makeup. I still wear makeup now to cover it up. But um, I, I was a lot more obsessive about it when I was younger. And um, I just remember that being really um, horrible time for myself, just not really ha practicing self-love at all, um, and that was definitely a really challenging time for me, and I kind of really figured now that I was so focused on the way that I looked and, you know, trying to fit in and stuff like that, but that I kind of forgot about the good things about me, um, that, you know, when I tell people about this time in my life where I felt really low by myself and other people would say like oh but you were this and you were that and I'm like oh well yeah I guess I never really thought about that because um, when you have really low self-esteem you just kind of get caught up in your head and it's like you know it's all you can think about you know what other people think of you and things like that and, um, you know you're definitely your worst critic all the time um, yeah so um, high school things got a little bit better for me I uh, uh, when I was younger, I had glasses and I got contacts and uh, I got better at makeup and um, boys started to like me and things like that. And, um, things got a little bit better for me, but I definitely um, just remember that I was so obsessed with um, the way I look and spending hours in the mirror, waking up early for school just to, you know, do my makeup and make sure my hair look good. And, um, you know, and I, I got, you know, pretty average grades in school. So, you know, well, I guess I got a little bit better than average, but, you know, I didn't praise myself for that kind of thing. I praised myself for looking pretty or being skinny or things like that. You know, I didn't praise myself when I got an A, which is, you know, you know being smart is something to um, really enjoy about yourself and something that you should also love. Yeah, so I never uh, dated in high school. I um, had like crushes here and there, but I, I was I was very shy. Not the kind of go talk to someone that you like kind of person. I still was kind of battling the kind of things that were going on with me, like inside internally. I, I still didn't feel that like love for myself and that I really needed to feel, not just for the way I looked, but for who I was as a person. Um, so that was a big, that was big for me, just kind of, you know, not really feeling that I'm, I was worthy to talk to someone that I liked or, you know, make new friends and things like that. I just wasn't, I just wasn't like that, even though I thought I was a lot cuter than I was in middle school. I still 
um, there are still things I didn't like about me on the inside. And uh, so now that I am in college, um, things are a lot better for me. I have one of the best things that I have done is created this blog um, because I really want to teach people self-love because I feel like I practice a lot better now. Um, I remember being younger and if someone would criticize me about anything, you know, you know, kids making their jokes and things like that, it would be in my, stuck in my head all the time. I would, you know, cry about it and just be so upset about it. And now that kind of stuff doesn't even bother me. And when people say good things about me, that's the kind of things I dwell on and think about. Um, so that's kind of one change that I've really made um, now. But like I was saying before, before I got track, um, yeah, creating a blog uh, with so many other people who also uh, have these amazing blogs that um, teach people that, you know, it doesn't matter what you look like. You're a great person. You you deserve to feel love for yourself. And I think that that is an amazing message. I think that we all need to have this message. And I want to be, I want to be a part of giving people that message. Um, so yeah, like I said, creating the blog and, um, having my followers are amazing. I love, um, posting about things that matter to, uh, most to me. Um, and hopefully matter to them as well. Um, yeah, so that's kind of uh, a little bit about me, about kind of how I kind of started it. You know, I, a lot of the people closest to me, I, I see them, you know, not loving themselves 100% like I'm trying to do. And uh, it definitely feels a lot better now than I used to because I appreciate more things about myself, um, not just my looks, but... Um, you know, who, who I am as a person. So what I want to do with this, um, with this whole video thing is to just, um, create videos that kind of, um, give you tips on kind of how I've, um, come to this point in my life where I can honestly say that I love myself inside and out. I want to be able to show that to other people. So I'm probably going to make videos, um, for tips and, um, advice, things like that. Um, kind of make it where it's interactive where you can ask me questions and things like that on my blog and um, I can answer it in video form yeah I want to just um kind of I feel like I've learned a lot from um being on tumblr and blogging I feel like I've learned so much that I you know kind of just gave me um a second to just kind of think and you know kind of rewire my brain a little bit to not just believe what you know, I've kind of been told my whole life and, um, you know, believe something new and think differently about things. So I definitely want to be able to help other people think differently and, um, ultimately get to the main goal, which is to, um, feel that, lo that love for yourself, um, that you can only feel through, you know, changing the way that you think. Um, yeah, so definitely thank you so much for watching this video um definitely more videos to come um and i definitely hope i can help you guys uh be the persons that you want to be and you should definitely subscribe um to my channel and also if you are on tumblr you should follow my blog and we also have a facebook and a twitter so i'll put those up uh in the links and yeah, so definitely check all that out and thank you so much for watching.